Hi there, welcome to another Excel training video. Now in the previous Excel training videos, I have been teaching you how to learn Excel with a project-based approach. What I mean by this is, figure out the projects that you're trying to do and then use Excel to facilitate that process. Don't go off and just learn every feature, every tab, every formula in Excel without even knowing what you really need to use it for. You'll just be memorizing stuff and you'll forget it later. With a project-based approach, when you have a project, use Excel to facilitate what you're trying to do. Whether it's at work, whether it's at home, just in general in life. In the past, I've shown you how to do this with a project management template. I've shown you how to do this with a cryptocurrency trade sheet and a stock exchange, stock market trading sheet. And now I want to show you how to integrate generative AI into your Microsoft Excel sheet. Now, artificial intelligence is very hot right now. For those of you who don't know what artificial intelligence is, it is a technology that enables computers and machines to simulate human intelligence. And generative AI is a branch of artificial intelligence where the technology comes up with brand new information. So think ChatGPT or Google Bard. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate generative AI into your Microsoft Excel sheet. Now there's a couple of ways which Microsoft is using to integrate generative AI into Excel. One of them is through Microsoft Copilot. I'll talk about that in uh, the next video. And there's another way through what they call Microsoft Excel Labs. Now, Excel Labs is a add-in that Microsoft uses to release experimental features in order to gather customer feedback. And uh, one of the experimental features they have is a generative AI formula. So we're going to use that one today and show you how it works. In order to use this, you will need an API key from OpenAI, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But first of all, let's add in the Excel Labs feature. So on the Excel, you go to add-ins, click on add-in, click on more add-ins, click on lab, well actually search for lab, and then we'll see the Excel Labs a Microsoft Garage Project add-in. I'll click add, and now I've added Excel Labs. You can see right here the icon that shows it's added, and you can see the new feature, Generative AI, okay? So right now, if I go to Excel and I type equals lab, you can see the Excel Labs Generative AI formula has shown up here. So it should not work yet because I haven't put in an API key. So let's see, let me do them. Give me a good definition. Give me a good definition for AI. All right, so that's how it should work. That's the prompt, and let's see if it will work. So I get an error. It says no open AI API key configured. So as I mentioned, you need to have an API key, and that's why it didn't work. So we can fix that by going to OpenAI and creating an API key. So head on over to openai.com, log in. And then when you've logged in, select API, not ChatGPT, select API. And then go to API keys. And here you will create a new secret key. So let's create a new secret key. Let's call this one Excel key, create the key, and then copy the key that you just created. Then head over back to Excel on the, on the generative AI, on the labs.generative AI tab on the right, go down to where it says configure API key and paste in that key that you just created. Now that it's pasted, let's try the prompt again. Give me a good definition for AI. 
Okay, so now it says it's busy. Well, let's wait. It should be running this, and let's see what happens. Okay, so this was processing my prompt for a very long time, almost a whole minute, and it came back with NA. Essentially, it came back with an error. In order to find out what my error was, I'll hover over the triangle, and you can see the error. It says, you exceeded your current quota. Please check your plan and billing details. So, one thing I forgot to mention is that API calls cost money. So, uh, when you first sign up for your account, you should probably have, I think, $5 in there for free that will probably allow you to do your tests. But if you're someone like me, where my usage has probably been used up or expired, then you will get this error. Let's head over, let's head over to OpenAI to check this out. So we have the API keys. Let's head over to usage. And you can see that uh, I can see that it's expired. Zero limit. So I'm not going to increase, I'm not going to pay to do this. I'm not going to increase my limit because I'm still on the free tier anyway. What I will do is create a brand new account and it should have enough usage on there for me to do this test. Okay, so I created a brand new account and as you can see, the state is available, it's not expired, so I should be able to do my test. So I'm gonna come over here, create a new secret key, call this Excel key, create the key, copy the key, go back to Excel, go back to my API key, delete the old one, paste in the new one, and now I will try my prompt again. There you go. This time, it gave me a good definition of AI. You can see here, artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, typically computer systems. This includes learning, reasoning, problem solving, perception, and decision making. So you can see, I was able to integrate ChatGPT's uh, foundation model into my Excel. Now you know how to integrate generative AI into your Microsoft Excel. Have fun with it, play around. And in my next video, we'll talk about Microsoft Copilot.